Now we might just wait for him to be on the ground because the squirrel puts out a fair old amount of, uh, of downwash. That's one. Is he coming into this area as well? Yeah, I don't know who that is. I haven't seen that one before. Old Matt. It's like a search and rescue chopper anyway, it's got a hoist at the bottom. But no, that's a, um, that's a sling rig. Alright, turn the base, uh, turn the gun off for me. Uh, when we raise the collective at this point, the, coral, the actual correlator is going to be greater than the drag, so the rows will actually go up even though we're raising the collective. Yeah. So when, as you're gently raising the collective, just gently be winding the throttle off so as to keep it on top of the green. Yeah. Then we're going to get to the point where we're light on the skids. Now from light on the skids, we know that we don't move the collective much, so the rows won't really move much either. So at that point, I want you to forget that the gun is off. And just fly, Across just take off, and you'll see that they're relatively stable. Yep. Okay. So, right here, so start raising it, and as you're doing that, it's winding off. That's it. Across runway 06 left, taxi to the holding point, runway 06 right. Okay, so don't look inside anymore, just treat this as a normal takeoff now. Yep. All right. Don't worry about the governor. I'm not a bit low. Thanks, RPM was. Oh, no, it's okay. I'll come up. Oh, yeah. Okay, and look what the RPM did. Yep, very well. Yep. Okay, so it's pretty easily manageable. This whole thing about a governor failure being a, a, you know, a critical event, it's just a myth. It's, there's no governors still out there that don't have governors. Uh, let's taxi across, leave the governor off. We're going to depart with the governor the whole way. Okay. And you'll notice that your pedals will have an effect on the, uh, on the rims as well. Yep, you put in left pedal. If you do a left pedal turn now just quickly, you'll see that they'll decay slightly. What's your power? I'm just trying to get that on top of the green, it's not wanting to sit there. That's your power. Yep. That's it, and let's just go back around to the right. And be mindful now you're going to use your left pedal to stop it. So that's actually where you're likely to see the drop in the nose when you stop it right. Yep. Channel up tower, helicopter, Tango Delta Alpha, holding short at Eastern Pad is ready for Yenjibok departure. Tango Delta Alpha tower, Eastern Pad cleared for takeoff. Eastern Pad cleared, cleared for takeoff, Tango Delta Alpha. Don't forget to put in there uh, your... Yeah, and just do a nice steady uh, transition. Yep. Very, very steady anyway because we're right on our power limit here. Yep. Uh, so just stop, just tweak those rows up just to the top of the green. Just the tiniest little throttle movement, get it up there. Now as you get translational lift, just keep an eye on them because the disc is more efficient, it's easier for the engine to drive, your rows will go up. So just go as smoothly as you can, smooth as transition you can. Nice and gentle. Watch your power limit. Watch your power limit, that's good. And then they go up just a little bit, so just roll them down just a fraction. Yep. And now don't focus too much on the roofs. Okay? Just fly up on it. Just keep them in your scan. So when you don't have a governor, it's very important to listen to what the helicopter's telling you because the helicopter uh, will tell you if the roofs are going low because it sounds like this. Don't fall out of the sky, that's the most important thing, do we? Yep. Alright, put them back up. Watch your power. Yep. Remember that when you're opening the throttle, your manifold pressure will increase as well. Got it. Yep. And we are clear right ahead and left, and turning left. Yep. And just watch your revs as you turn, because we're doing a bit of a um, sort of loading the disc more, and when we load the disc, we get that conservation level of momentum. Yeah, we're faster. We tend to rise a little bit, yeah. Right, I'm also at the bottom of the green anyway, so that's Yeah, great. and that's much more noticeable, might I add, with the low collective setting. Yep. Not so much with the high collective setting. So I'm all good to go. I'm coming up a thousand feet. I'm going to speed up. Thanks, Ray. Yep. Thanks, Ray. And you'll notice you're leveling the disc over, so you're getting the opposite. You're losing that conservation. Yep. And the momentum. Okay, and then we're clear right ahead and left, turning left down that rail one. As you turn, always look out the front, see what change your nose has. Because yep. I don't know if you noticed, but your nose came back then and we slowed down and we've actually climbed a little bit as well. Yep. Right. But when you turn, it's always, don't forget about your pitching movement. It can be hard to judge where the attitudes are. Yep. But um, you certainly can see a, a change. You know, it might be harder to go, oh, yep, that's an 80 knot attitude, but you'll see a change. You're also climbing still. Yep. So we shouldn't really be climbing, just push it down a bit. Don't let the red things uh, worry you too much. Yeah, yeah. Don't overthink it, because as you can see, they're not really doing much. Okay. Cool, so now I'm reaching this road here. I'm wanting to go squawk 1200. Yep. So VFR. Central Emissary, traffic upwinds of Cessna remaining, uh, sorry, the and anything else? Northern Africa, whatever. Um, radio channel to Perth Center. 
at this point, should we start climbing to 1,500? Yeah, I reckon at about this little lake here, we're yep. pretty clear. Uh, we we'll climb to 1,500. So you're left ahead and right, and above, there's no Cessna overtaking us. Uh, Adding power, I'm just going to do it real slow because I don't know what the governor's going to do. Yep. And as you can see, it didn't really do much. Yep. So once again, the governor being off is not a very stressful event. It's really thrown me out of whack though. Yep, but, but have you noticed there's no reason? Yeah. Maybe 2%. There you go. It's gone down a bit. Just tweak it a little bit. Yeah, get a bit more. Yep. Put you at power. Yep. Coming back to 60, 60 knots. Best climb speed. Uh, no. The best climb speed would be 53. Ah, uh, yep. There you go. We're coming at 1,500. So I'm going to lead with the back leg. Now, without looking down at your gauges, how does the engine sound at the moment? Like it's struggling. Yeah. Now look down at the gauges. Yep. So a bit low. Yeah. So when I want to nose over, it's going to probably recover some RPM. Uh, I'm you're unloading the disc. Ah. Uh, uh, it will, it will, um, it will reduce a little bit further. Now, you just picked up that the rams were wrong by 2% purely with your ears. Yep. Yep. Well, after 26 hours, you'd think I'd know what a, an R22 sounds like, right? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Yeah, may as well whack that governor back on. Yep, governor coming back on. Governor's on. Yep. That's pretty easy, eh? Stress is gone now. Stress is gone. Yep. Yeah, it is very stressful when those roads just stay there. When, there's what? when they just stay there by themselves, that's pretty stressful. <laughs> okay, if you were to uh, have your main rotor temp light come on now, what would you do? Main rotor gearbox temp? Yep. I would... Wait to see if it stays on for a couple of seconds. Yep. Uh, could be an issue. If it stays on for 10 seconds, at that point I would power down. Uh, 10 seconds. Where are you getting that figure from? I don't know. I seem to remember that from one of my tests. Yeah. The clutch light. If the clutch light stays on for 10 seconds, you'd pull the circuit breaker. Yep. If the main runner temp light comes on, don't forget to focus on your flying. Yep. If the main runner temp light comes on and it's not associated with anything else, it's land as soon as practical. Yep. So let's land somewhere where um, the uh, aircraft could receive uh, a maintenance. Let's go back to Janikop. You could go back to Janikop. Yep. But I reckon they could probably do it down there in that paddock as well. Yep. Um, uh, you yeah, know, engineers have car licenses too. We can make them go a bit. Yep. Uh, if it was associated with a uh, uh, main rider chip light, what would your reaction be? Chip light. Uh, same thing, I'd see if it hangs around for a bit because it could be, you know, break in. Uh, land, uh, land immediately. Land immediately. Land immediately if your main rider temp or main rider chip or your tail rider chip light has any other associated sounds, uh, no, uh, vibrations or other lights. Yep. Okay. Alright, so. When was the last time you did a variable speed order? I did it once, a long time ago. You done it once? With Nick. Alright. Oh, let's uh, let's go do a couple. Let's set over just these paddocks right on the schnoz there. Yep. And uh, we're gonna bring Thank you. we're gonna bring the uh, speed back down all the way to zero. Yep. So we're gonna enter establish, I'm gonna say engine play practice. When I say practice, that's your cue to roll the collective. Yep. You're gonna have to put in a little bit of half cyclic, remember, just yep. to keep your attitude initially the same. Yep. And then from there I want you to bring your um, speed back to zero. Yep. So this is good for, you know, if the spot's right near and close, you don't have to be doing whipping around doing circles, you can do that. Yep. That's not so much a problem, but there's not even need, just calm it down, yep. and then we'll go. So we'll just go the paddocks a little bit away, so just go a little bit to the left. See that? See the one with the, uh, the dam here? Yep. We're just going to go the other side of that, okay? Cool, we'll get the side of the dam. Right. Yeah, just the other side of the dam. Okay. We're only going to take this down to 500. Yep. yep. Engine failure practice. Okay, now bring the speed right back, so don't forget your flaring. Bring it back, bring it back, because we're going to overshoot that dam. Yeah, that that's it, keep going back. Keep going back. Now just lower your collector a little bit to push out of your uh, red RPM. And start dropping like a brick when we go straight down, because we, you know, we're on the other side of the dam. It puts you in pretty good stead to make your spot, doesn't it? Yep. Okay, you need about uh, 100 feet per 10 knots, so let's just start getting our 60 knots back. Yep. Okay, and I'm just going to bring the power in now. Yep. There you go. And let's uh, fly away before we get to uh, 500. Okay, so see how non-stressful it was to make it there? Yep. 
keyboard on us is uh, an air mile man, sort of taught me, is you always got to guarantee that you're going to make this out. Yep. And the easiest way to do that is aim for an overshoot. Yep. All the hard work in the upper end. Yep. That way, when the bottom end of it, most of the autos should look pretty similar. Yep. Because you just get back to 60 knots, um, grabs it at the top of the green, and in you go. It's a pretty non-stressful event from there on. Yeah. Yep. So let's do the opposite this time. Let's go for max range. So let's let's pick ourselves a bit of a target. Yep. So let's say this paddock in front of us, uh, these houses beyond that, there's two trees next to like a wet paddock. Uh, on this side, going ahead of us. So a white little white shed in the middle of nowhere. Oh, yeah, one little shed, and then on that side, beyond that road or that fence. That yep. Right there. Yep. Okay, well, when, when we get close enough, can you just let me know, and we'll enter, uh, we'll do the hard work up here. Yep. We're going to enter, we're going to set a 75 knot attitude and bring the ramps down to 90. Okay. And I want you to work hard to get to that spot yep. so that you guarantee you're going to make where you think you're going to land, yeah? I reckon if we entered here, we would make it. So I'm at 75 knots set already. Yep. All right, yep. you ready? Engine fire. Practice. Right, checking. Yep, don't bring it down just yet. Yep, now you establish, bring them down. Yep. They raise the collective. Yep, so yeah, 90 and 75 knots. A bit faster. Okay, and see how much we're getting there? Yep. Now where's your spot? Uh, yeah, just beyond that train track. Bring the rams down. Okay, so we're going to turn around into the wind, so do a little bit of a dog leg. Down at 90. Uh, and now you're definitely going to make it, so slow back down to 60, like yeah. normal. Slow the corrective, get your nose to the top of the grain. Watch them, they're going to come up. Yep. That's it. And we'll uh, bring the power back in there. Yep. Okay, because we're at 500. Yep. We'll bring the power in. And you notice you started rushing off all your speed there? Yep. Yeah, you definitely don't want to do that because speed's our friend. Yep. Yep. You made it to your point where from that from there, all you had to do was turn back into the wind, yep. and you're right over your spot. Do you know where your spot was? You just be on the. the it was about 150 meters behind us. Yeah, yeah. About 500 feet. That's yep. exactly where I told you to aim for, yep. and that's where you guarantee your spot. Just yep. keep in mind that when you turn, you actually lose quite a bit of height. Yeah, yep. Uh, uh, have you been in vertex swimming before? Uh, once, yep. Okay, so have you done the recovery yourself? No. Okay, let's go and do that. Well, we'll try. It's pretty hard to get into vertex swimming. Yep. So to get out of that, I'm either wanting to lean forward and fly away, yep. or do that crazy stuff with the pedal going out sideways. The shard? Yep. Um, yeah, it's not that crazy. It's sort of pretty manageable. Um, yeah, basically I think um, the Richard method's pretty good. It does pull you up pretty quick. But uh, let's just uh, do it about here. Yep. So start slowing down, bring us into a hover. Yep. Now we may not have the power to hover at this height, yep. in which case that is a very realistic scenario of why you'd end, end, end up in Vortex Ring, because yep. you don't have the power to hover, you get out of it. That's it, I have control. You've got control? I have control, I'm just going to turn us into the wind there a little bit, because uh, it's it's actually, like I said, it's it's a little bit more difficult to get into than what you think. You know, the wind's actually of our right, actually a little bit up here, yep. judging by our strings. Yep. Okay, anyway, I'll try to get into it now, yep. and I'll demonstrate that with our technique. Okay, so there we are, we're wobbling around. I raise the collective and my rate of descent's increasing. Yep. Okay, so here we go. I'm raising my collective and I can't get us to stop. So I'm going to put in the left pedal and I'm just gently pushing right with the side click. And we'll pop out of it here. You'll feel it in a second. There we are. Look at our rate of descent. Yep. And we're out. I'm raising the collective and the rate of descent has arrested itself. I push forward so as to not end up back in another yep. vortex ring state. But there we go, we didn't lose much. Our rate of descent didn't get too out of control. It got to about 950 feet per minute. Yep. That's certainly not the uh, speed that you really want to be hitting the ground at. Yep. So it worked really. Okay, so I'll let you do that this time. Yep. The key thing to note is that you're not in vortex ring, really, until you raise the collective and, you and, you can, and your rate of descent increases, okay? Yep. There we go, that, that shutter isn't vortex ring, that's loss of translational lift. Yep. I'll uh, just lower the collective here a bit. That's probably a bit more vortex ringy there. Yep. Oh, not quite yet, we don't have the required low descent. Right, now you raise there it is there. And we're dropping I'm raising the collective. I don't know, see so we fell out of it. Yep, it's pretty hard to get into. It's pretty hard to get into. Let's just uh, get a low descent up a bit higher and yep. pull the power in. There we go. There we go. Okay, you have control. Right. 
left pedal and yep, that's it. across. Yep, that's it. And then look at your VSI. And we're going to okay, go. Okay, now forward a bit, pull your power and get it airspeed, get some trim. And flies away. Right, so do you feel that shuddering and that yawing feeling? Yep. That's associated with vortex ring, yeah? Yep. But the main thing is that our rate of descent increased as we raised the collective. Yep. Now, we didn't get it that violently there because we only got to a thousand feet per but you can go on the way, you know, uh, off the clock. Yep. Um, back to the hover. Yep. So we'll try the auto technique, eh? Let's try uh, uh, auto Let's that. Let's try the throw off when yep. we feel like we're in it. Yep. Across to the south of City Beach, uh, there's an aircraft at Cottesloe tracking southbound 700 foot unverified level. Uh, uh, don't play too much, you end up going backwards. Yep. That's it. Now just start yeah, raising the power. Keep raising it. That's shuttering isn't vortex ring again, that's the loss of translational lift. Yep. The wind's coming from our right a little bit. Yep. Don't forget to keep using your pedals up here. They work exactly the same. Yep. So you need that rate of sent to be up past 300 feet per minute. Turn into the wind, see the strings are giving you a good indication of the wind. Yep. So I'm going to drop down and try and get that rate of descent. Yep. Okay, rate of descent. There we go. And we'll try and be as still as possible. Yep. Uh, now just start raising the collective a bit. Now we're coming out of it. Yep, uh, I have control. You've got control. I have control, I'll try and get into it first. Remember to look out the side when you're hovering so that you can judge uh, if you're stationary. Okay. Because you are actually moving forward still a bit then. Yep. Okay, here we go. There we go. Uh, yep, there it is. So let's lower the collective, collective and throttle off. Yep. And then we'll just be out of it. Yep. There we come. Let's bring the throttle back in. We'll be out of that corner there. Yep. And we'll fly away. Yep. Lost a lot more height doing that. That's right. That's the benefit of the other technique. You have control. I've got control. Alright, let's go back to Janica. It's already been there 30 minutes. No worries. So these little market gardens up here between these two, Sam. The domes. Yep. One or two. That's about six thousand. Oh. Track. So I would have the radio on the Jandica already yep. because there's a lot of people who are confused about the position and this is a high density traffic area. Yep. That's why it's a danger zone. Yep. And it all funnels in here like a bottleneck. At what point do I change the uh, transponder? Uh, you could do that now. Yep. So go back to 3000 squawk. Yep. What would you squawk now if your radio failed? 1700. Uh, no, 7000. That's it. Uh, 7600. 600, okay, there you go. Oh, that one's getting closer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep. And then I call when I'm at 6 south, but then later on I go, then Jango Tower, so I take it up at 5 south lake. Later That's right, call. Yeah. yep. And then he's going to tell you to contact Jango Tower on 119 Baseball 4. Yep. Yeah, you could even have that one ready. Yep. Want to? So when should I make my call? About now. This okay. is 6 south. Shannon Tower, helicopter Tango Delta Alpha R22 6 South uh, for a uh, approach to the he uh, helicopter training area. Dual received at Echo. Can we show you not there? Maintain 1500. Maintain 1500, Tango Delta Alpha. Yep, so we'll just recover that a bit in the debrief. Remind me to uh, we'll just go over that radio call cool again. Yep, Tango Delta Alpha, Forest Delta Lake. Tango Delta Alpha. Standard off remain, same 1500, track for base for the helicopter training area, contact tower 119 decimal 4. Contact tower 119 decimal 4, maintain 1500, track for base, take it alpha. Standard off, confirm helicopter training area. Ah, uh, yeah, uh, uh, you'd be out in the helicopter training area, take it alpha. Roger, roger. Alright, oh, yeah, contact them now. Yep. Shannon right tower, helicopter Tango Delta Alpha, maintaining 1500, uh, tracking base for the helicopter training area. Helicopter Tango Delta Alpha, thanks for calling inside the fixture, so that could be good. And uh, Wilco Tango Delta Alpha. Wilco Tango Delta Alpha. I want you to land uh, using only 22 inches, okay? So do you remember how to do that? Gordon, is that ringing a bell? Uh, hang on, I've got to maintain above translational lift. Yep. So it's a shallow than normal approach, yep. maintaining ETL, nice and shallow, so that you can assess not by not how slow you can get this thing, so we don't have to run on any faster than what we need to, really. There might be a run on landing. Well, could be. We're about to find out. Yep. That would be shallow than normal, would you agree? Yep. Okay, so just slow down Three and get us a little bit shallow. Keep going a little bit because we need to make it. Around, yep. And just keep above, 
you know, translational lift, get us nice and shallow, get down, get down, get down, get down, get down, get down, get down. The longer that you have to figure out how slow you can get down, we're going to just start slowing down, lower the back a little bit more so that you don't balloon. Okay, now just start sort of like, almost like a, a taxi, a high taxi. Yep. yep. So ring in the power and start slowing down. See if you can slow down a bit, get pretty shallow. Yeah, but not by not. Have a look at what speed you can get to. Don't lose translation. Push forward, push forward. That's that shutter. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we can go a bit slower. So get a little bit closer to the ground. There's an Australian hobby right there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, just keep slowing down and go around the concrete bit. Keep your, keep going because speed's your friend. Alright, so there's your, there's your speed. Okay, now just lower the collective. And keep your skids straight and level, so push forward a bit, push forward a bit. Now just slowly go down, lower your collective, keep the skids straight, forward on the cyclic a bit, that's it. Now just lower the collective, that's it, don't pull back on the cyclic. Yep. And just only really slowly lower the collective. Yep. Okay. Yes, lower it. Pretty, uh, pretty stress free. Yep. Put that back in. Alright, no worries. Take it over again. Yep, right on. Just do a, show me a normal circuit. How you been doing, mate? I want you to turn around the nose. Oh, great. I haven't done one of those since the very start. That's why we do it. Yep. Oh, so we're in flying with someone in here now. Yeah, it's a bit lurchy off the ground. Yep. You go for five down with the car. Yeah. I want to show you something. Nice no, 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 no. Yep. I've got a trail. Yeah. Papa. How high do you think the skid has to come off the ground before we've done anything well? If we were hooked up on one side. Uh, I guess? Mr. Just, just, just under a metre. Uh, let's, 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 I have control. Yep. I'm deliberately going to start pivoting on one skid here, which is going to feel pretty horrible. Yep. Still already, that feels pretty not good. Yep, and that's only like a inches just, off the ground. Just open your door and have a look. <laughs> Yeah, it's got hard yeah, yeah. And it feels pretty hard. Yep, so... Yeah. Okay, so if you go like this, I uh, control. Yep. If we go... How long would you have to figure out that that skid's caught up before we already pass that high high time? Middle time. Yep. Two stage take off. Okay. Always. Uh, yeah, control. So I want to raise power. Yes. Much better, much safer. Thank you. Do that every time. The light that one. That makes it a full stop. Yep. So there's that sprinkler over there, I'll go over to that thing. Yep, adjure, adjure. Alright, so, here we go. Right, that'll do, just yep. do a pedal turn, check your